months ago that uh, we've been trying to get them up here to worship, to share, you know, because both of them has got an awesome talent in singing and worship. You know, I, I don't call it just singing, it's worship to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I chased them down they, when I said something when Ashley, they, phew, they took off. And I went back there. I said, get ready. You're singing. Sometimes we have to be pushed in life. Sometimes we need to be cornered. Sometimes we need to be called out. And uh, I believe that, you know, that was their night for the beginning of blessed. So, you know. these two girls because we know their hearts that they love the Lord and I'm just going to stand on it that they'll never sway away from it that even in their stuff because that's what's about their family people that they can call on uh, parents, grandpas, grandmas grandmas, aunts, uncles pastors up in here people that they can call on and, and trust to say you know what you might be going through issues we all go through issues and, and we need somebody that we can call on we need somebody that we can depend on, you know, and I'm just so thankful for them. And, uh, you know, uh, it wasn't, I was looking at some pictures of Ashley back, uh, I didn't even know Ashley back, uh, she was probably eight years old. I was driving church van, and uh, she was living on College Street. She was living with her mom and, and uh, her dad and Terry was living there and, and I just so happened I was driving the van and uh, I seen her come out I seen Terry come out and then I seen her come out of the front door to pick her up on a Wednesday night for church and I didn't know then but she caught my eye I didn't know what it was but you know I just thought hey you know she got in the van and she had a walk about her, you know, and, and uh, she still has that walk. And, but anyways, uh, who would ever dream that uh, that her dad started dating Chrissy and Chrissy become Ashley's mom. And, uh, and Chrissy done the best she could. Ashley loves Chrissy very dearly. I mean, Chrissy wasn't her real mom, but Chrissy and Ashley loved each other, and they were pretty tight. They were really tight. And, uh, but then I look at her, you know, now, you know, in February, she'll be with us three years, living under my and Patricia's roof as our granddaughter. And we've always looked at her as our granddaughter. We always looked at her as our, a daughter. But I look back when she was eight years old, you know. She's 16 now. And she was eight years old, and God had a plan at eight years old that she would kiss my eyes. So, I would never dream that we'd go through a lot of sorrows, a lot of hard times. You know, it seems like sometimes your heart gets ripped out. That's why it's so important that we be grounded in the Word, we be grounded in our faith and our walk with Jesus Christ. Because if not, you know, three years ago, I don't know where I, I don't know if that fellow fell off back in the world, backslide, fall off sobriety, go back to drugs, go back to whatever. But you know what? I'm not gonna let the devil win. Amen. To get up. Even though I stumble, I mess up. For all human. I refuse to let him win. He's a liar. He's a father of all lies. He couldn't tell the truth if he wanted to. So we're going to stand on our faith in Jesus Christ. And I'm going to just keep walking toward the cross and keep uh, keep Jesus in my eyesight. Well, Does everybody have tickets? Everybody got a ticket? Everybody uh, five dollars for extra ones, yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. But anyways, praise God that uh, we serve a God that knows the future. We don't know it, you know. And um, I'm thankful for everything He's done in my life. I'm saddened about things that happen in our life, but I'm thankful also that I'm walking with Jesus Christ and my wife is a servant of Christ. And, 
and that he has put a family right here at Christian House with us. I'm so thankful for each and every one to come here, that support us, that come here and help us out and, and just be here, you know. You know, um, but uh, January's not far away, 2020, man, it's just a few weeks away. So, uh, January the 2nd, make sure you're here for them. There's it. Amber is going to kick us off in 2020, January 2nd, 2020, with her testimony. Amber, the 31st of this month, in one year. She went through six months of daughters. We love daughters. We support daughters. We're, you know, they're just uh, an awesome ministry. Not to say anything about any other ministry. New Hearts is an awesome ministry. There, we can go around the room and, and people can call out different ministries. You know, somebody was asking the other day about something on Facebook. And I just started throwing out different ministries on Facebook. Different names. Man, it, it, shoot. They're everywhere. Praise God, they're everywhere. But uh, January 2nd, Amber will start it off. And then, uh, January the 9th. Debbie McSpadden is going to be speaking. And uh, if you miss Run Devil Run, we got our speaker fixed now. Oh, yeah. We couldn't turn it up loud enough last time when she, when she was here and asked her to do it. Uh, Lee and them come down and, uh, a few weeks back and uh, she did a Run Devil Run. But this time we're going to have the speakers cranking because she's going to put the devil on the run. Amen. You know, this girl's got so much energy, she just wearing me out watching. I'm dead <laughs> dead. And uh, then uh, we're going to, uh, we haven't finalized the date yet, and then Tina from New Hearts is going to be speaking. So we're going to start getting some lined up, and we're going to uh, have uh, some pastors come in and start speaking once a month, I believe, and start sharing a little more to go along with the testimonies and everything what we're hearing. Everything you hear in our testimony always relates back to Christ. It was Christ that done it. And uh, I don't know what Tina, I think she's going to share something about maybe love, but God could change his mind, her mind or whatever God wants to do. We want God to do whatever. So uh, let God be God and let him uh, orchestrate it. And you know what? It'll turn out good. So uh, I believe 2020 and daughters, I went to the, my wife and I, a few of us from Christmas house, eight or ten of us went to... Uh, daughters last Saturday night to their fundraiser, their Christmas party fundraiser, whatever it was but but uh, I was sharing with a few different pastors and stuff, they were asking me about 2020, I said 2020 is the year of the recovery God is, is right raising up an army and what he's going to do the churches not to say every church is this way because a lot of, most of your churches are, are preached the word most pastors get up there and share the true gospel of Jesus Christ. And they're not going to water it down or filter it. They're going to tell you the truth. But God is right raising up an army in the recovery area. And, and the revival is going to break out. I really honestly believe 2020 that when God starts moving on these revivals, he's already moving. The people's lives have been changing. When he starts moving, you're either going to be on him or you're not. And uh, I'm going to tell you, we are going to be in the midst of it. I want to be in the midst of it. And uh, new hearts, every, man, every ministry, every ministry, break a chance. You bet. Get ready. Get ready. Nobody is going to be singled out because God is going to, 2020 is our, our year. We are going to bring people to Jesus Christ like never before. When the wind starts blowing, when it starts happening, people are going to be saying, what is going on? Well, it's because of what, what Jesus is fixing to do. When people in the church start getting, getting it, catching it, and it's going to happen. There's a lot of good churches out there. But be in prayer, 2020, that your church catches it, that the, that the wind will blow. When God starts moving, lives are changed, man. So I'm believing it. I'm believing it. I'm going to stand on it. Amen. See? Amen. Two more agree on anything, shall we not? We agree right now. So keep believing that uh, God moves on ministries and churches that, that is going to be able to move for God. Hey, get all them uh, gift cards out of the desk for you. 
We got uh, a bunch of giveaways. We got some kids giveaway. Look, we had a lady here in town donate. These these bicycles are just used, but they've been in a garage or in a store shed. She donated. She called me uh, one day uh, a few weeks ago and said, hey, um, could you use four used bicycles? I'm thinking, yeah, they've probably been sitting out in the rain and, you know, they're all rusted up, but, but her heart was right. And, and I said, yeah, I'll be right there. I went over and end up, she goes to our church where I go. And uh, I didn't even know her. She knew me. She heard about Chrissy's house. She said, I would like to donate them. So she do donated them. Tim uh, aired them up, mixed them up, and took them to car wash and washed them down. I think he waxed a few of them. I don't really know. I think he got the white walls clean and everything. Everything's looking good. But we're going to give them, uh, give them away. We got... Uh, uh, a $20 gift card for Bulldog for uh, the adults. We got two $20 gift cards from uh, Edwards Food Giant. We got uh, two $10 Sonic cards. We got five $25 gift cards for Walmart. And we're going to give these away because, you know what, we believe in giving back to the people that come here and... and uh, I hope and pray that uh, everybody went, oh yeah, we're going to give away Chrissy House t-shirts. We're going to have a drawing for, uh, we got t-shirts we're going to give away. Everything under this tree is going to be given away. Uh, some of us mark women, some of us mark men. And guys, I don't think you're going to get a bag, but if you get one, you'll look good in it. <laughs> so, anyways, we're going to start our drawing. Um, what do you want to do first, kids? What do you want? We're going to draw one for a kid. Now, I don't know. Wait, are you going to do it the bicycle thing? Huh? That's, that, that's for the one she's had all night. I, that's not special. 710-949. 710-949 for a kid. Just for kids. Oh, look at it. Uh, You want one of the bicycles? Aww. You want one of the bicycles or do you want a, a or what? Or you want something under the tree? He wants a bike. So, what's a bike? <laughs> well, it's his choice. It's his ticket. Find something for the kid under there. <laughs> It's your choice, whichever one you want. Oh, well, that's a woman. Pray the game. Or you get a bike, whatever you want. It's, a, it's your choice. All right. All right. Uh, all right, we're going to draw another child or another kid. Yeah. Mother, I can't get Zero, zero, 006 is the last three for a child. Zero. Braley, you won! You got a new bike. Okay, look here, my 006. Even though it's my granddaughter, I'd never change. Alright, wait. Another kid? We gotta hurry because we're gonna run out. We'll be here at 9 o'clock. <laughs> Uh, 981 for a kid. 981. All right. All right. You want a bicycle or do you want something under the tree? Is there any other boys? You can't get these bicycles. <laughs> Alright, we're going to draw another one. 
We only got two or am I single man? Oh, man. That's a boy. Whichever one you want. It's your choice. I, I thought you wanted a bike. Does he have a bike? He's got two. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright, for another child, uh, 995. 995. 
I'm saying that over there. Over there. <laughs> All right, uh, stand up. I think some of them are, and these right here are ladies. Whatever you want.
970. 970. All right. What do you got back there? Well, I'm going to give you the same choice. You can get a $25 gift card, $10 Sonic, a food giant, or a bag. You can take what you like. Huh? Heather, 
you got a choice of shirt, bag, or we got two gift cards. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Go ahead. Or one of the big bags, whatever you want. Uh, 952. 952. We're all around Brad back there, I can tell. 952. 952? It's got to be. I don't know. 952. Junior, you go to one? Or you can lose that. Uh, 955. 955. Look at that. Father and daughter both won. Ryan Carno, winner. You got Christian Howe shirt, you got a card, you got a you got a card, you got a card, you got a card, you got a card, you got a you got a card, you got a card, you got a card, you got a card, all right, uh, 953. 953. You get a bag, Chrissy House shirt, or a gift card. 943. 943. Nine four three. Hey, God's watching. I believe it. Amber, you have a gift card there or uh or something there or pretty you know, sure. Uh, 947. 947. Oh. Alright, Deanna. Do you have a shirt? A ba uh, bag? Gift card? I think that's it. I don't know. Man. 977. 977. Drove all the way from Wynn, Arkansas. All right. Okay. We got one gift card left. We got bags or a shirt. All right. We'll get you. Hey, remind Caleb. She'll get you one. Three dollars. Uh, nine five one. Nine five one. Nine five one. We got a shirt, we got a ten dollar Sonic card, or a bag over here. All right. Nine five seven. You got a ten dollars signing card, uh, a t-shirt, or that. One of those bags. It's a bunch of boxes. I don't know what that is. I remember. Nine eight two. Nine eight two. Nine eight two. And now. Uh, 
card, we got Chris's house shirt, or a choice for the four packs. You got a 10 dollars card, a Chrissy house shirt. Right, here you go. 972. 972. 972. Natasha. I told her I wouldn't call her Burger King tonight. Uh, we've got a Chrissy house shirt or anything there. Nine six three. Nine six three. All right. Winner. Thanks there. Or Chrissy Al shirt. Nine six nine. Nine six nine. All right, Nina. Nina, you have a shirt or a bag. <laughs> zero zero two. Oh, zero zero two. Oh, look at that. Brandon shows up first time in love. Uh, okay. Yeah, first time shirt or any one of those things right here. Oh, I'm sure. Ashley, sure. make sure he gets a shirt. I'm okay. Right. You got it, look at it. Great, Brandon. 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 Five. All right. Well, we're down to a shirt or one of these bags right here. Woo! Let's win! Woo! He thinks he's at uh, Lula Casino. Nine, nine, five, six. Nine, five, six. All right. All right, finally one zone. He's been waiting. He's been wanting. Brad, you got your choice of a Chris Cow shirt or one of them packages. Um, I want a Chris Cow shirt. All right. I'm bro. Thank you. 938. 938. 938. 938. Going once. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Nine five zero. Nine five zero. All right. Anybody that uh, has a shirt coming, go back there to Kayla, and she'll get y'all a shirt. Anybody that's got a shirt coming. Nine five zero. A crazy house shirt or one of those packages? Nine, nine, seven, eight. Nine, seven, eight. All right. Okay, go see Kayla. She'll hook you up. There you go. Nine, eight, three. Uh, all right. Chrissy House shirt or three bags? Choose from. All right. Hey. Uh, nine three seven. Nine three seven. All right. You have a Chrissy House shirt. You want a shirt? Go see her. She'll pick you up. My granddaughter keeps messing with me. 996. 996. 996. A shirt or one of the bags here, and I don't really explain that to you. A shirt or the choice of three bags. I'll take a shirt. Uh, nine five eight. Nine five eight. 
958. All right, Casey. Casey has shirt or choice of three bags? The three pick. Nine six eight. Nine six eight. All right, Lee. Crazy house or either one of them packages right there. All right, oh, go see Kate. Zero zero four. Zero and now she comes back. You get a Chrissy House shirt or one of them bags. I'm to a little fun. 
Who's 997? Huh? Oh, you get a shirt. Hey, hey, Papa David, I get it. Uh, 971. 971. All right, well, Jim Kaylee, you get a shirt. 946. 946. Hey, how are you? If y'all believe in searching, if y'all believe in wind, you believe everywhere uh, in Pleasant Plains, baseball, ball now, Lono, 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 especially Lono, they need a lot of help down there. No, I'm kidding, guys, seriously. We want to. You know what? Here's the thing what you need to do. 
you really need to uh, write down a ministry that is on your mind. More than one, probably three or four different ministries that's uh, in, in uh, recovery program. And lift them up to God every day. We are not going to see a move of God unless we start moving and start doing something. God is waiting on us, man. He's ready. He's ready to pour it out. But he's waiting on people like ourselves to, to move and do something for, for him. And uh, there is ministries all over that we can pray for. And, uh, you know, that sign out there says Jesus is the cure. Amen. We have two models here. Where your addiction becomes your past, not your future. Amen. And my favorite one, that Jesus is the cure. Amen. I take a lot of grief from that from people because they don't believe there's a cure. I know there's a cure. Amen. He's standing before you. I'm cured. Amen. I'm delivered, separate. So, uh... Uh, Jeff wants to. Jeff, you want to say something real quick? I just want to say I want to invite everybody out next Thursday night. I'm going to tell everybody next Thursday night about what God's given me for Christmas. <coughs> I had to earn it, but He's the one giving it to me, so I just like for y'all to come out here and what I got to say. Hey Amen. Let's support him. You know, he's got something to say. I love you. And uh, yeah, next Thursday. Right. Uh, but he's got something to share, so. Uh, and. Uh, there will be some other testimonies, but we're going to get ready to crank up 2020 and really get on with it, man, and bring people to Jesus. And uh, JC, come to me. First time I ever heard this young man pray, man, I know that had God had something on his life. And he come up to me on the platform just now and asked me, he said, man, can I close out in prayer? And uh, he hadn't prayed in a while here, but I remember the first time he come here. So... I believe that God God's going to use him one day. So, so first thing, call out your uh, call out your prayer to God. If you got something, yell it out. Say it. Amen. I said a prayer for the Matt Brandon family. Big Matt Brandon, they're buried in the mark. Two o'clock, the stage work cancer. Mm -hmm. Passed away last week, so mm -hmm. keep your family up. Hear about what you say? Mm -hmm. My grandma. <laughs> my daughter. My son. My marriage. My mm -hmm. son. My daughter. Mm -hmm. My kids. My daughter. My son. My kids. All the ministries that the people are going home for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. This nation and its leaders. Yeah. Yeah. Trump. Yes. Amen. 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 Uh, I want to say, let y'all know something right now. The uh, Holy Spirit prompted me to say this. That, but Kenneth over here from Pleasant Plains Assembly of God. Awesome church, man. Awesome church. They do a lot of good stuff up there. They got RC up there. Recovery Connection on Tuesday nights. Man, this guy goes all over to Arkansas and picks up food and brings it to everybody. You know, he's been bringing food to Chrissy's house ever since the time we met. And Kenneth, I just want to thank you in front of everybody. We appreciate everything you do, man. God bless you. I don't know what he always brought, but man, we're, we're blessed every time he comes through BB, you know, but we thank him, we, we thank him for uh, doing whatever, everything he's doing. Amen. And, uh, Can I say something? Yes, ma'am. I've listened to the prayer request, and y'all are saying your kids, and you're wanting them to turn their life around, but you're going to have to turn around something first. If you call them kids, they're going to be stubborn, they're going to be hard-headed, they're goats. Stop calling your beautiful blessings kids. Every time you confess negative on your child, you're going to receive negative back. When you start confessing positive, you're going to receive positive. Here's my proof, right here. Amen. When I quit calling her my kid, my brat, 
and whatever else negative I used to call it. <laughs> <laughs> and started confessing positive about her, even when I wasn't in her presence. Yeah. I received positive back. Look at her now. Yeah. Yeah. In just 20, I think it's 23 days, she will be four years, 21 days. Four years. Yeah. They are our children. They are our blessings from the Lord. And they're beautiful. Amen. Amen. So confess positive on your children. Y'all come in here and hold hands, please, Shannon. Shannon. I'm sorry. <laughs> I call Shannon, 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 Shannon. Me. Right. Any more prayer before uh, JC closes out? Hey, uh, another thing, uh, safe journey back home to win. Uh, safe journey to Shore Sea, Baseville, everywhere we're going, plus the planes. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. I've got. You know what? And praise God, Jennifer hasn't blasted me one time tonight. So my God does answer prayer. I have my phone. You didn't hear. I have no else. All right, JC. Dear Father, thank you for letting us all gather here tonight. Thank you for letting us get up here. And thank you for your birth of your. Thank you for Mary who gave birth to your son, Jesus. Please let us get home safe. Let our soul, our body, and ours, and back to you for our service. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.